was incredibly unnecessary is we did not need two full episodes of Alpine in Drive to Survive. I want to know how much Ryan Reynolds paid Netflix for these two episodes. Yeah. It, it's, it's a lot. It was no. a lot. Like, I appreciated the highlight of Otmar's firing. I think I gained a different perspective and I've changed my mind about it. Um, but I, and it was kind of, it was fine to see the Akon Gasly like enemy frenemy thing, but I didn't need like a, again, a 40 minute montage of how they hate each other slash now they're kind of okay with each other and you know, what, whatever. I, I don't need that. Yeah, I I think that the Netflix cut made Otmar's firing even more awkward than it was. Like, you know, go you know, going into that weekend and you know, hearing, you know, Otmar Safnauer is going to be leaving Alpine after this race, like there were so many other things happening that weekend that you kind of forget to realize that like he just got fired as they rolled up to spa. Like that's yeah. and and he has to work another three days well and I think too for me like it kind of really clicked in the timeline because like we we I watched this happen I knew what was happening but mm-hmm. it didn't click to me the timeline and to me I think he got extremely blindsided and like oh yeah no like it was clear and and it, there were people walking around the paddock and you know from other teams who couldn't believe it huge supporters of Otmar don't understand what they're doing. This doesn't make sense. Why would you fire someone halfway through your race weekend? That's so dumb. Yeah. Um, And I think it was just, I feel like it was maybe a few people at the top of Alpine who didn't like Otmar and just got rid of him because he has a very distinct, very different management style. Oh, yeah. And I don't think they appreciated it or liked it. I also, this is probably just me. I feel like Alpine is so dead set on this like we're a French team with all French drivers and now our team principal is also French like maybe that's not correct but it seems like they're really pushing for that narrative of being like we are the all French team and we will bring you know glory back to France and blah 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 I, that's Which the narrative that happening. I got right but that's yeah. the narrative that they kind of portrayed throughout the the show and the two whole episodes that they got Oh my God, I can't believe it was two whole episodes. Like they could have cut down on some of like the racing bits and crammed all that into one episode. Um, But I I also feel like the Akon Gasly frenemy thing wasn't like an issue this season when you lived through the Formula One calendar. Like, you know, we knew when Gasly was hired that they have a history of cropping each other out of Instagram posts because of things that happened when they were children, but it didn't actually, you know, make an impact on the season live. Um, so I feel like well, a lot of that was- know that. Well, correct, because Alpine was just so irrelevant this year. But, you know, they but they didn't fight each other the same way that like Alonzo and Akon did last year and that like Akon and Perez did back in the Force India days. Um, and I really think that of of the most that they played up for the drama on Netflix, it was the Akon Gasly rivalry frenemy nonsense, which no, I, I didn't need. No, I feel like it was very overplayed, but I mean, they did have several, more than one double DNFs of Alpine because they crashed into each other and that's because you're Mm -hmm. racing your teammate. And so like, that's what I mean. Like maybe it's just the the competitor, but maybe it is just, who knows? We don't know what they're thinking. We didn't, honestly, it was a lot of airtime and not a lot of like true understanding. Substance. From Alpine. Yeah, there was no substance. Um, But I don't know. I can't believe they got two episodes they were very irrelevant this year and they're going to be even more irrelevant this year i mean they could have given half of one of their episodes to the uh, alfa romeo team who was not featured at all nowhere 